Hey everybody, this is Jordan from Four Quarter Butcher Shop and today I'm going to show you how we make our sausages here. So, if you want to start here, we do a 25% fat to lean meat ratio here and we have a frozen blade die right there just to grind it through. We want to keep the meat below 4 degrees to ensure that the uh, meat emulsifies together and when you are eating it, the meat doesn't crumble. So, pretty basic for our garlic sausage here. It's a simple salt, pepper, spice blend. I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle that over all this. We need to spin garlic for it too. So I put about a tablespoon per five pounds. And as well, we use some red wine for taste. And now we'll give this a nice mix. Ensure that the meat and the fat are all pushing together at an even ratio. So next step, what we're going to do is we're going to be grinding it through. Get that going. We just want to do one grind on it because when I bring it over to the table here before I put it into the stuffer, I'm going to give it a light toss to ensure that the meat sticks together. No air bubbles in the sausages. The next step here before we start uh, stuffing it is the mixture procedure. So what we want to do here is just give it a light toss. Nothing that we're going to overwork the meat where the meat will come out looking smeared and it will also affect the, the texture of the sausages. So here I'm like you can see just a little tight light toss so you can feel it start sticking to your hand and you know that you're good to go. So I'm just going to go over and get all of this meat here mixed up. And then the next step I'm going to walk you through is our stuffing and linking procedure. Another thing that's really important here when we are stuffing it is to make sure the meat is evenly packed down to avoid any air bubbles in the sausages. With air bubbles in the sausages, they will, that will dry out your sausage when cooking. So, as you can see here, I'm giving an extra effort just to make sure I have this fully packed down. And finally, is our last step is the stuff and link process. So easily, we have an automatic sausage press machine here. It's easy as just pushing your knee forward and letting the meat pull up into the case. And so if you want to get up here, I can show you how it's done. Here, I like to leave a little bit of end here. And just letting that evenly fill up. Not too much, because that's how you're going to split the sausages. Alright, and finally, it's the licking process. Just an easy pinch and twist it. And then, easy pinch and twist, and there you have it. And that's how we make our sausages here at Four Quarter Butcher Shop. We personally like to let these sit for about two to four hours before putting them out onto the counter, and that gives the meat some time to sit in this casing and settle, so when you do cut off the ends, your meat is not spilling out of the end of the sausages. A little bonus feature here for all you guys watching at home, I'm going to show you how we braid the sausages. So easily you just start with making a loop here, twisting it off, grabbing the loose end, pulling it through, and a simple pinch, and pulling it through. And just repeat. Another loop, twist, grab it up, and pinch it, and bring it through again and make a hoop. And so on, and so on. Thank you very much for tuning in today. It's Jordan from Four Quarter Butcher Shop and I hope you guys have a great day.